Hey all, welcome to my channel. I'm Max with Max Mods, and today, guys, I've got a little bit something different for you. So I've been sent this by uh, Ian over at Patwork Upgrades, and this is the Lancaster Bomber Builders Stand. So um, you can still order this, and I will put a link down in the description below. But I get in there pretty quick if I was you, because as of the 31st of December. Uh, Patwork upgrade will not be taking any orders anymore. So if you wanted to get this then get this pretty quick So I've been sent this uh, by Ian on how to build it. So we've got an inventory of bits and pieces And then we've got the assembly instructions just in there. So what we're gonna do today I'm just gonna build this and um, yeah show you what it's like so I'm gonna start off with the first piece now. This is the uh, center stand uh center hub sorry gate okay, right now okay and basically everything's just going to come off this so first of all i'm going to put in uh one of these first of all and this is going to literally go in just like that might be a little bit tough to get in but if it is and just back it out. There we go. Just make sure there's nothing in there that's uh, causing any problems. And then just try again. So there's a little bit of uh, residue. But suppose you don't want this thing coming apart. There we go. So that one's in. Okay. So the next I need is some long pieces. So we've got one of the long pieces here. Oh, that went in nice and easy. One of the long pieces here. Now, as the model grows, you can get extensions for this. Um, so you can make it bigger. One down here, and another long piece just here. Okay, so that is what we're looking at so far. Brilliant. Right, next thing we need to do is we need these pieces here. And there, and there. Okay, and these pieces are the L brackets. And what we need to do is we've been given some uh, washers, some nuts, and these uh, these are thumb screws. So what we're going to do is we've got our bracket here. We're going to push that through there. There we go, that's through there. We need to get a washer. Um, and we need to get one of these here. And that is simply, as far as I'm aware, just going to slide down the channel. Now there is a place for the washer to go in this channel but you've just got to kind of line it up just a bit further down a bit more down but <clears throat> not to the point it comes off but you get what I mean. So, and try again. So I'll get this first one on and then I'll get the other three on off camera and then we'll come back to it. Because my messenger is going off like crazy. Uh, 
going to try a different way here. Turns. Okay, that's on. And then all we have to do is tighten it. And then that will lock into place so i'm going to do all the other ones so one here one on here and one on here and when i've got them done we'll come back and have a look so back in a sec a few moments later okay so i have got all them l brackets in place um once you kind of get the hang of um the how much to put the uh, nut on and the washer they go on pretty easily so they're all in place now so i'm just going to move that to one side because what we've got next is we've got these pieces here now these are the t uprights okay you've got one side that's serrated and one side that's got like an indent so first thing we need to do is we've been supplied with some um of this felt now I'm going to cut this in half, just get it like that, just using some scissors, because what we're going to do is we're going to place this felt onto our T uprights, so I've kind of got the signs i want so i'm just gonna get pencil and just mark off where i want it so and then if i get a ruler and i could use a blade for this but i'm just gonna go a little bit old school and use some scissors okay so that kind of marks out where i want it it's approximately just over a centimeter now i need four of these so from that one i'm going to mark out three more marks so one one there one there um, same on this side so one there one there one there now we do get some um, we've got some spare washers in this we get an extra spare nut um, and Ian did send me uh, the extension pack so we can make this bigger um, as the build progresses um, which is it's just basically some extra ones of these that we're probably going to need for the wings okay so I'm now going to cut these out I will keep this felt as spare but it's a nice touch that it's been added so it's one there And cut these out okay so now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the backing off these which for somebody who has no nails is not easy let's uh, do some tweezers here I literally don't have any nails. 
Okay. I want to apply the felt sticker to the T upright. That's one on there. So I'll pause camera just while I get the rest of these off. Five minutes later. Okay, so all of the felt now is on these T uprights. So what we need to do next is if we bring our stand back across, this is quite uh, simple to do. Uh, we're just going to be putting these uprights. Now, like I said, these have got a serrated end here. And on the inside of these L brackets, they are serrated as well. Which means that it's going to sort of lock in and apply some friction. So if we get our thumb screw, a washer, and a nut. We can put these on. And what that's going to allow us to do is if we unscrew them, it allows us to select the height we want these. To the next one. Like I said, fairly easy um, to do. Uh, I've got no problems with this. Uh, this is the second one going on. Then what I'll do once we've done this is I'll bring our uh, Lancaster fuselage across and um, yeah, we'll uh, put it on here. Like I said, this is a universal stand as well. So, you know, if you're working on another aircraft or in the future, then you've always got this to hand. And these are only being done up finger tight. at the moment so this is going to be a great way to store your Lancaster safely while you are building it I remember the Spitfire and when they gave us them god awful um, oh cardboard thing nightmare right so that is in place so i'm going to bring the link across and we'll put this on and see what it's like okay so instantly i know that um actually that's sitting pretty well i think the wing uprights need to be a bit higher maybe a bit higher than that Okay, I'm happy with that. That's a bit higher. Turn it around. I can do the other. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm happy where that is for now. Um, obviously I've got my next pack of Lancaster, so I will um. Yeah, be adjusting this. Now this back one is a bit too far back for me. So I'm just going to undo that there. Bring that down. Tighten that up. And there we go. Absolutely brilliant. Now, like I said, you can get the extension packs as well. So we've got these here. And all these do is they just fit in to there. So you just put them in there and it's going to, especially with these wings, they're going to get bigger. So put these in and still support the model as it gets built. 
I'm really impressed with that because it's really going to make things easier storing our Lancaster while we're building it. Brilliant. So, yay. I am really, really chill. I did also get some extra uh, tea uprights as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, we are left with obviously some more felt. And we have got a couple of washers and a spare nut there. Um, in case we need them in the future which i'll keep with the uh with this but um that is what this is looking like when finished it looks amazing really really impressive and it's nice to have the fuselage out because i've had it in a box and um i forget all the little tiny work we've done like on the uh, thrust levers and and all the cockpit work and yeah brilliant so guys, that's just a bit of a quick video on how to install the uh, Lancaster Bomber Stand or the Universal Stand from Partwork Upgrades. Like I said, I will put a link in the description down below if you want to get one of these for yourself. But like I said, uh, get in now because as of the 31st of December, uh, Partwork Upgrades will not be taking any new orders as they're, um, yeah, they're going to be retiring. So uh yeah, which is going to be a shame. It really is going to be a shame because, like now, I really would love an Apache uh, blueprint, but obviously they probably won't be doing any new products um, and are just, uh, yeah, winding things down. But I'm really pleased with that. I'm really chuffed. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please could you give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, stay safe and bye for now.